y'all checking in. There's a new drug in town and that drug is social media. So the average adult spends eight, seven to eight hours each day on their phones. Can you guess doing what? That's the drug and we keep biting for it. We keep biting. Why? See, social media was sent here to take us further away from ourselves and each other. Contrary to popular belief, social media may connect us with people from all around the world and we may rekindle old friendships that we had with people we had in grade school. But does it really bring us closer to each other? Or are we just being nosy and seeing what's going on in their lives? People can't even live without their phones. Like, how are we different from the from the attic on the street? We're just inside the house with a phone, doing nothing, just entertained, being entertained, being detached from what's real and what's not. You see, we're already in the metaverse. The metaverse is not a new concept. It's just a new interactive way of being inside social media. And social media itself is an oxymoron. No one's really social on the media. No one's really social on the media. No one's even social in person. You see, all this time we spend on our devices, whether it be laptop, whether it be our phone, or a tablet, whatever device you choose, whatever drug you choose, it's, it's distracting us for a better, a higher, it's distracting us for an ulterior motive. And it's not to connect us with others. It's to bring us closer. It's to bring us more one with technology. What do I mean by that? You see, transhumanism, trans, oh, transhumanism is on the rise. And the addiction of technology will make it more easier for the hidden hand to make you merge with technology. You see, whether we have Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and now the metaverse, I shouldn't even say Facebook, but the metaverse. See, the, this is already a metaverse. We're already in a simulation. And what you see on social media isn't real. It's being controlled by a hidden hand and no one's falling for it because we're already inside of it. You can't fall for something you're already inside of. So this is the consciousness that we have to shift ourselves to. We have to tap into this consciousness that we have within instead of being distractive, looking out. You see, once we look out, we're more easily controlled and it's easier to slip in medicine in the applesauce you know like when you had to take some medicine and you thought the pills were nasty and <laughs> and i didn't go through this but people crush up the pills put it in the applesauce feed it to the kids that's exactly what social media is it's easy to have a hidden hand pay off influencers influencers to promote an agenda and you won't even know it's an agenda going on because you're inside social media now they want to bring you a more innovative and an active way to be inside social media i was looking at the at the metaverse what do you call those when they pitch their new product i, I it's on the slip of my tongue but when they pitch a new product, Mark Zuckerberg, you know, the robot, was pitching his product and he was like, oh, this is the stepping stone to social media and started looking at a two dimensional screen with the pixels. You could actually be there and you could be inside your house. You don't have to be you have to you don't have to go outside your house. You're right there. You can have meetings. You could all land in the metaverse. Basically. They want you outside of this reality and put you in the metaverse while they're in 
the universe. See, the whole point is to get you out of the universe and put you inside the metaverse. That's the whole objective. It is up to us to stop this. Like, we're being fed 5G, new technology, new apps. Do we really need it? Who are we doing this for? Are we just going to keep going with the flow? And I'm not saying like social media is all that bad, but how, where's the cap on it? Where, how far are we going to go? Like just a few years ago, we just, just a few years ago, we thought like, what was the last, what was the last pop in social media? We thought Vine was cool and now there's TikTok and TikTok is, it's pretty addictive. Like there's great content on it, but you could spend your whole day on TikTok and not do anything that actually matters in real life. And this is just a wake up call to bring awareness on what's really going on. And, you know, we have kids, we have kids on TikTok, kids wearing makeup for TikTok. How does, how does this affect us mentally and psychologically? What's the long-term effects? Like, you know, this is like a new drug. It's almost like genetically modified organisms. We don't know the long-term effects of this. It's just cool, it's fun, entertaining, but it's a major distraction. We're all falling victim to the forbidden fruit and we have to stop biting. Get focused, more studios out.